Morning, guys, from here in Maspalomas. Here we are in Malaga Airport. In the city of Brussels, the capital. Welcome to the centre of Porto. Welcome to Marrakesh. So, here we are, guys. We've arrived in Marrakesh Airport. So, it's time for us to do a trip report. And I don't think we've done a trip report for quite a long time. As we make our way out onto the tarmac to catch one of several Ryanair flights, early morning flights leaving from here in Marrakesh, no doubt destined for Europe. You'll see us all filing on the plane here as we take our seats and I've got a three in a row empty happy days. Now this is a throwback video I've got to say that with the next trips coming up I need to delete some space so I'm just putting videos that I haven't released out there or maybe that I've partially released and yeah this is your last chance to see them before they get deleted but here we are taking off from Marrakesh airport it's a very very short flight to Malaga today it's only about 55 minutes as we take off and the city of Marrakesh is going to come into view the city is so close to the airport we can see a British Airways flight down there quite a large plane so this was in the time in the aftermath of the earthquake so maybe it was a relief flight or helping ex uh, repatriate people back to the UK but we can see the Moroccan countryside there and the high Atlas Mountains in the distance. So this is the furthest south I've ever been in Africa. I mean, unless you count the Canary Islands. But yeah, we can see that beautiful green landscape will soon turn to a very arid landscape, which will later on turn into the desert. This is the first time I'm actually ever seeing the desert with my own eyes. This is fantastic as we look across the Sahara Desert today. And as we look south towards Western Sahara, absolutely beautiful here. But the plane is going to turn. We're not going south, obviously. We're heading north towards Malaga, so we're going to turn and we're going to head towards the coast. We're going to fly out to the coast. You can see the coast is starting where the desert meets the clouds. But look at me, right jammy position there. There wasn't really too much to see for the next 20 minutes, half an hour, so it was all just the Atlantic Ocean. But we arrive here, very close to the city, it is, and across the Delaruth, and we're flying over some beautiful lakes in the Andalusian region. And it's not too long till we arrive in Malaga, as you can see. We're already descending on this Ryanair flight. Now, this film was filmed in October last year, but I do remember the flights being about 20 euros returns. They're about 10 or each way. So, yeah, cheap deal here for a 55 minute flight over to Marrakesh. But as I say, we start our landing now, the clouds are starting to look pretty phenomenal as we go over this dramatic landscape as we approach the city of Malaga. So yeah, very, very quick flight, guys. And I do like short flights. I'm not a big fan of flying for a long period of time. I do just like to take off and land. It's like being transported, really, isn't it? We can see there the motorway coming into view as we are landing here in Malaga. And I remember it still being warm this time of October. I was still in shorts and I definitely remember Marrakesh being in the 40s still. So yeah, nice to be back in a cool, refreshing Spain as we touch down here. Bit of a bumpy touchdown, but you know what I mean. It's right there, you get what you pay for the big blue and yellow coffin in the sky. But yeah, saying that, I've never really had a big, big problem right there. A few delays and that, minor delays, but nothing too major. The only time I've ever had a flight cancelled, that was with British Airways. So yeah, it just shows. With a cheap flight, so at least they go, eh? But we can see we're pulling into the terminal now. And yeah, I'm quite happy just to 
get off this plane to be honest with you. So here we are, we've made it back to Malaga, back to Spain. Now the journey continues, let's head on down to Gibraltar. So it looked really, really promising as we were going through and then this happened. This is absolutely ridiculous. So the Moroccan flights and the British flights all landed at the same time, causing a massive bottleneck. And we're in this queue for about 45 minutes before we make our way through passport control and head into Malaga Centre. So that's it guys, our last piece to camera of the trip. Having the last meal now, thank you for watching the extras, the behind the scenes of the trip to Marrakesh. And thank you for becoming a member. I really appreciate it. But you've been watching Jib TV Plus now. I'm going to enjoy this fast food and I'll see you all on the next adventure.